Hey viewers, it's the Casual Pro Gamer once more. Today we're doing something different. We're going to have a look at a high ELO match of Nocturne, uh, played by Hotshot GG, who, in case you didn't know, is the number one ranked uh, American player and probably the number one ranked world player, as he's a member of Team CLG who are winning basically everything they participate in. Anyway, uh, we're going to look at a Nocturne build, which he kind of devised over the last day. He's been playing a lot of it. And he started out with kind of the same build I did in my first game, even though I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, so he was starting out with some attack damage items, some attack speed, and trying from there. But it turns out Nocturne is kind of squishy. Who, who knew? But this game he will go for a more, well, survivable build. So he goes for two hearts of gold and goes from there. Anyway, we will see once the game starts. Here we go. So here we are. He's going to start out with uh, cloth armor and health potions, even though he will not be jungling. But, yeah, well, that's the way he builds it. As I said, he's going for two hearts of gold, which require cloth armor. And, well, it's a generally good item to start with, because it gives you so much armor. And most early attacks are done by either minions or basic attacks. Since most people low level don't have all their skills yet. So... High ELO games almost always start with the protection of one of the buffs, so either the red buff or the blue buff. Yeah. This time they're protecting their own blue buff. And yeah, well, they're basically waiting for someone to walk into them and then kill them. But if nobody comes, that's good too. So there's a clairvoyance going on, so they're spotted and they retreat because once the enemy knows you're there they can actually flank you and that wouldn't be good. So they basically scatter and know that the enemy isn't there. And of course if you ever saw one of the games of Hotshot he always does something else because he feels he's so much better than anybody else so he doesn't need to pay full attention so basically as you will see even though there's nobody there he's just last hitting so only last hitting and the uh, uh, passive of nocturne make that makes that even harder because if you hit the minions you will actually uh, hit every th every minion around you. And yeah, you don't want that because that pushes the lane and it makes you vulnerable to ganks. He does use his Q ability, which he leveled first, by the way. Uh, he uses that to farm minions he cannot reach because he doesn't want to run into... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Urgot. Well, he retreats at the moment that he thinks he's done enough damage. And then he goes back to last hitting minions. Using the shield, of course, to block the Q of Urgot. And he's already pushing the lane a little bit. So he has to be careful to avoid ganks. Of course, using healing potions when he can. And going in again, even though he's not the strongest of the two, he keeps trying to actually get some damage done, because the small amounts of damage make your opponents basically fear you, and makes that they won't push out. And there's the gank. He was waiting for it, but still he has to use both summoners to 
actually get away. And Warwick came in just to show himself, see the, uh, show the enemy that if they chase after Hotshot in this case, that they would get killed. So everybody retreats, and well, we start laning again. And there's Nunu once more, but well, Urgot is nowhere near, so it's not really too dangerous. Nunu is losing experience at this point, of course, because he's con uh, continuously ganking instead of farming. And, well, it, as a jungler, sure, you need to gank, but you don't need to over... or you, you need to be careful not to overdo it. Because if you overdo it, then you will be underleveled and you will be no use late game. So as you can see, because he did some damage to uh, Urgot in the early game, and he keeps damaging him, uh, there is no way Urgot can actually last hit every one of the minions, even though he's ranged. But he's too afraid that uh, to to get hit by the Q of Hotshot and well, basically misses last hits. And at this point. He's about twice the he has about twice the kills as his opponent, even though he got ganked twice. So he should be behind by now. But because he started off with so many healing potions, he could actually stay in lane even after the ganks. Just getting some more last hits. He misses a few there. And then decides, well, it's maybe time to actually kill someone. Because Urgot actually overextended. But yeah, then I uh, Irelia comes in and he gets killed. So that's kind of a shame. But it was a good effort. Uh, so now there's two people of each team mid. And, well, he got killed, so... The attack was okay, it was just uh, sad that he didn't see that top lane was missing. And he's going to complain about that. Uh, Hotshot complains a lot about things, uh, especially ab about decisions people make and things like that. So we'll see that. And on his stream you can actually hear him complaining and then typing, but it's a good thing they have kind of a language filter on there because on the stream there's no language filter <laughs> and he's not very friendly to them. Well, I really, of course, is very overpowered against everybody, so he has to back off a little bit. But there he used his uh, passive to great effect, because now he can farm all these minions, even though he couldn't actually reach them. He could only reach them for one second, and then had to back off, and then, yeah, already killed about half of them. Well, here he goes in for the gang. This is what uh, Nocturne is supposed to do. So, gang people that are low. <laughs> and actually survive with some luck but he's not in tower range so he should be fine flashes over the wall gets out and goes back to base in the meantime Warwick's supposed to take over mid because there's nobody taking the experience from mid but Warwick apparently does dragon which is of course a high price target so that's good too yeah and here he warned rice about not overextending and then but we'll go into that later I mean 
this was just stupid. You could clearly